Hey, my name is Nick Anderson, and today I'm going to show you how to import channel strip settings that you have downloaded into your Logic Pro X so that when you're using Logic Pro X, you can select them and use them. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is hit your finder. Then we're going to go to downloads because most likely that is where the channel strip setting that you just downloaded is. If that's not where it is, maybe you moved it somewhere. Uh, find where it is and uh, click on it so it's highlighted there. We found our channel strip setting was Mary Poppins.cst. The CST stands for channel strip setting. Now, after that, we're going to go up to our corner here and we're going to do file new finder window. The reason we're doing this is because I want to be able to just easily drag and drop once we find where we want this channel strip setting to go. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your home icon here. Mine says Nick Anderson because that's what I named my computer um, or this user setting. Uh, just click on the home there. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to look for music. You're going to double click on music. Then you're going to click on audio music apps. Then you're going to click on channel strip settings. There it is. See that? I went fast on that. Channel strip settings. Then you're going to click on track. And then you can see here are all my different channel strip settings I already have in Logic. And then we just want to move Mary Poppins into there. So there we have Mary Poppins channel strip setting. Um, in our correct location and now when I open Logic Pro I can create a new track here so let's just do audio track and then I can load my preset by going to this little button here this is my track that we're currently on hitting setting and then going down and we'll see right there is Mary Poppins. So we just click on Mary Poppins, our channel strip that we just imported, and boom, it is in there. That's really all there is to it. And it's, it's that easy. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. Otherwise, if you want to check out some great channel strip settings, I do have links in my description for some of the most popular ones that uh, I do. And feel free to check out some of my tutorials on creating great channel strip settings as well. All right, we'll see you next time.